Hi, welcome back again. As you know, Cynthia Wave, which is the name of this character, has been completed. And now I'm posing her to do this sort of uh, action scene. So I render out different passes for the speed lines in one pass. That's an image sequence that I have right there. And then I separated everything else in render layers. This is all for Blender purposes. But, but, here's a big but. If you connect your character, solely your character, from the depth connection that you have right here, which is the depth pass, and then plug it into a normalize node, and from there you can connect it to a color ramp, you will see this. But this is not good if you're going to make this work with stable diffusion, specifically with control net depth. Okay, so what we're doing here right now is to see how much information control net is going to pick up from the render that we get from Blender. But here's an issue. If you just connect the color ramp, the regular color ramp like this, okay, so you will expect that the render, you know, it's um, somehow fixed, but it is not, so you need to invert it. So let's say that if you do this, you're not really going to get the entire details for this character because right now you've lost them. So one color ramp cannot do this as you would expect, you know, because it's going to still be missing some information from the head. But if you keep on tightening this space, between the white and black stops, then you lose everything else. So what is the solution here? The solution is to connect a different color ramp, such as this one. You're going to go from white, position 00 something, from here to this position, and here's your value. In this case, let me just, uh, right here, 0 0.1. You can then again do this position, and then do this value, 0 0.3, and from there, you can go back again to um, black. And with that, what you're going to get is this. This is a much better appreciation for depth for control net. So that's what we're going to use right now. And then from an image editor, please select the viewer node. Okay, so this is the uh, compositor. That's where we're doing this from. And just like that, control shift and click and you're going to go into image and from there you just select viewer node and this is your result since you're in the image editor you can image save as and save this as depth so let's switch to stable diffusion my render is right here this is this is what my uh, full render result looks like okay this one is with a little bit of motion blur so I rendered it render her out without the motion blur and we're using that perceptron for the model and we're on the image to image tab we're going to input our prompt our image and way down here you know activate control net from there you want to enable this thing click here pick the depth map that we just did we also rendered it out and select depth once you select that, uh, the preprocessor and the model will automatically um, choose the correct model to work with. Since I said none, uh, it's not choosing anything, but it will automatically choose for you the depth model. From there, just use 0 0.1 as a starting control step, and the control weight, I always go with 0 0.9, not an entirely one, because I want the prompt to interact with this almost full weight. And then finally, control net is more important. From there, we're going to just click here to generate. And as you can see, I have previously generated some things, but we're going to do two, two passes, two tests, one without the background and one with a full background. So, you, so that you can see how much the prompt influences whatever result we get from here. But this is the most important part we should get an identical pose, an identical depth, an identical composition, and an identical volume for the entire character. That's what makes Control Net so powerful. So let's just click Generate. And once it's done, here we can see the results. Look at that, it's marvelous. You can compare how this is now looking like this. Of course, this is 
and a stylized uh, look because of the model that we're using based on comics and that's why it looks a lot like comics Let's see the next one you can see the eyes are pretty off that's not a problem we're just checking for the information on the character itself there correctly represented this one's look this one looks amazing looks good and this is the last one which is even better than I have designed and this is all because it it looks like a comic illustration we're looking for an anime look so we can change any other um, models that we have on stable diffusion but for now let's uh, experiment some more now I don't want to use this anymore I'll delete this one and then I'm going to select the one that has a background this one is my render from blender as you can see well not right here but if I uh, plug everything here and switch to node view viewer node sorry this is the one uh, version that we're going to test over here and as you can see it's got some amber ashes some speed lines uh, an explosion in the background which by the way I created inspired by the techniques on the spider-verse but we're going to use that over here we're going to still keep using the depth map so make sure that it's enabled make sure that it's a uh, depth map right here and that you have the model control for control net set to depth and control net is more important but now we're going to add some more text and the text that we're going to be adding is the parameters flying bright amber particles chromatic aberration lens distortion and motion blur by completing the prompt in this way so we want to see the flying speed lines the high speed flight so stable diffusion knows what we're looking for we're going to use the word the break which basically means don't associate the next prompts with my character because we just finished describing the character we're gonna have a ex uh, background explosion while she is flying so bright amber particles but we are also going to use chromatic aberration lens distortion motion blur now this is important because when you're working in blender as you can see here from the compositor I do have a lens distortion node already set and that is what uh, marries the entire composition to the background also uh, using that kind of effect and I have already mentioned that I separated the color from the render layer for the background itself separate color red green blue using a transform recombining that and then adding a glare that's what gives me this um, sort of uh, chromatic aberration with a glow in the render that's what I did so I rendered that out and from there we're ready to click on generate now that we have properly placed all those new prompts describing our image and sure enough we have our results here and check that out we have the chromatic aberration correctly displayed it even uh, stable diffusion even created a more stylized fire and it's got the motion blur you can see her now she's actually moving this is great the eyes are not so good where we can fix that later but here are our variations and they look amazing of course we have the fire fire it's almost constant in all of the iterations but I can see that this is fully working now so this is just a quick video so that you don't forget that whenever you're activating your effects in the compositor in Blender, it's uh, well worth to also add those prompts over stable diffusion, like lens distortion, chromatic aberration, and other effects like motion blur. And in my case in particular, I wanted to test this. We have ember ashes, fiery ember ashes exploding from this amazing comic. Don't forget that Cynthia Wave is available for download on my Gumroad store and I'm still uploading the patches. Um, don't worry, whatever problem that you have, you also have an internal uh, Discord server where you can connect so that you can consult or ask any kind of questions about the reference model or the model itself. Also, don't forget to write any kind of questions down here in the comment section below. This has been Pierre Schiller. I am a 3D animator and BFX compositor with over 20 years of experience and let me ask you something. Have you tried Blender with Stable Diffusion? Try Blender with Stable Diffusion. It is powerful and beyond artistry compatible.